Basically, we're looking at what I call by the book. And so the song have a wonderful treasure. The gift of God without measure. We will travel together. Man by the one. Actually, favoritism can be, you know, uh, an issue, uh, particularly parents, children, relationships. And this is actually captured in Second Chronicles 11, verse 20. After her, it took Marka, the granddaughter of Absalom, and she bore him Abijah, Hattai, Ziza, and Shalomit. Now, Rehoboam loved Marka, the granddaughter of Absalom, and all his wives, and his concubines. For he took 18 wives and 60 concubines. And he begot 28 sons and 60 daughters. And Rehoboam appointed Abijah, the son of Marka, as chief to be leader among his brothers, who intended to make him king. So he loved his wife. This uh, love of his life, he decided that the son that you know uh, the wife had for him was going to be next in line in terms of succession, even though he had older brothers uh, that could have taken that particular position. And if you actually look at scripture, this was actually against scripture. It's true that in the case of um, his father Solomon, he was actually favored because he was not the first son, you know. But you know that that was you know divine intervention because God loved Solomon and decided that he was going to be the next king. But in this instance, this was just human, not divine. This person decided, because I love this particular wife more than all my other wives, I'm going to make uh, the son that I got from this wife you know, uh, the next in line. And if you look at Deuteronomy 21 verse 16, it's actually against this particular kind of behavior. When a man divides his inheritance, he may not give the larger inheritance to his younger son, the son of the wife he loves, as if he were the firstborn son. So I think part of what we can learn from all of this is to do things by the book. And the book we are talking about, like the song that we started, is the Bible. Let's make sure our lives in, is in full compliance with God's word, and we can never go wrong.